Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Tech Tips, and today we're going to be talking about the Xbox Black Screen of Death. Now this applies to the Xbox One, the OG Xbox One, One S, and One X. Now the buttons are slightly different, and I'm going to address this in this time, like I've, I've done this video before, but I'm redoing it. I'm going to explain this time um, that this video does not apply to the Xbox One S, all digital edition. I will eventually make a video about how to do that, but I'll save it for another one. Just watch this one for now, if this video applies to you. Now, first off, I'm actually just going to show you. You need your Xbox all the way off. So that means you don't just press the power button. You actually want to have this all the way dead. So you're gonna hold this button for approximately five seconds, and your Xbox is going to shut all the way down. Now you don't need to unplug it or anything because you do need it actually. So once it's shut all the way down, 100%, you can even unplug it afterwards and just assure yourself that it's done. Then plug it back in and then do these following steps. You're going to hold your Xbox kind of like this. I have it vertically, you might need to hold it different, but kind of like this. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your fingers ready to hit the power button, the sync button, which is located here, if you didn't know, if you feel a little bump, that's where it is. On the OG, it's up here. I'm pretty sure for the um, S and X, it's down here, kind of near the power button. It's maybe like a couple inches away. And so what you're gonna do next, you're gonna turn your Xbox on, and I'm not gonna do it yet. I'll explain it to you first. You're gonna hit this button, and then right afterwards, you're gonna hold the eject and the sync and that's gonna bring you into the reboot mode. So let me show you. You're gonna hold these two. And that's what you want, that ding right there. If that happens, you can just let go. It'll bring you to this menu. Now, this menu is really important for many reasons. If your Xbox just flat out doesn't work, then this is a good way to know, or a good way to figure it out or just reset it to fix it. Now this is different. This is actually also really cool. So if your Xbox just stops working out of the blue or you lose power in the middle of an update, if you follow this link here for xbox.com forward slash xbox one forward slash offline update, then you can download that file to an external USB drive and then you can hit this and it'll update your Xbox again to reinstall the OS the right way because if you lose power, it screws up your install. But that's for another video. If we go here, so we gotta have our handy controller. We can just use the D-pad down and then hit A on here. Then we're kinda having an option here. You can choose to remove everything in games, counts, every single thing basically going to restore your xbox to how it would come to you straight from the factory but what my preferred method is and what i recommend is that you keep your games and apps to be clear it will remove your accounts it'll remove your game saves settings and basically everything except for your games like not the files in the games just the games so you don't have to reinstall all of your games which is actually really handy but um, this doesn't even work 100%. Um, you do have to do it multiple times in some situations. Like I had to do it like, I don't even know how many times. I think I did it like six times before it actually worked. It, it was nuts. It took me forever. But anyway, if your Xbox still has issues after this, let me know. There is a Discord link on my main page, Brandon Tech Tips. It should be in the channel art, so super easy to find. If you have any more questions, go to my Discord and let me know there, and I will directly message you and even call you if I need to so I can help you directly to fix this issue because this is a super widespread problem, and I want to help. But anyway, with that, that's going to be the end of this video. If it did help you, leave a like. Maybe even subscribe if you want to see more garbage content. And if you really, really like my content, you'll go and watch my other videos. Maybe even watch my old video or watch my other video of reacting to my old video. Maybe even watch me 
watching myself, like my reaction video to my first video ever filmed. I don't know. There's a lot of content to be seen. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Wow, guys, was this a super weird video to make for me. So the reason it may have seemed so different was because I actually had multiple cameras, as you probably saw. But not only that, I also had to sync the audio to it, which was just, I don't know, I've had to do that very few times. But if you guys like this, I mean, I would totally do this more often because it is a lot of fun to just use all of the stuff I have. And this mic was utilized. My phone was actually utilized because I needed another camera. My main camera was utilized. So, I don't know. I thought it was really interesting to make. And if you liked this type of video, then definitely let me know. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll finally leave you alone. I'll, I'll go away. I I'll leave.